Lakini babe, kuna mahali kuna niangusha. There's a time we used to go to a hotel. We had one specific hotel in in town. Wakati tuko errands at tao, kwenye tuko tunaenda ku have lunch. Yes. So, eh hiyo time tuko nilikuwa napenda rice, white rice, vegetable mixed vegetables and ka beef. Mm. Hmm. Hasa this day nimekosa beef, nimekosa ah Nimekosa vegetable rice. Nimekuka nikapata kamos je ni kuya mi. Nimekula rice. Na na kwenye mimi nikule rice na na veg. Mimi nikakwambia sitaki veg, nilikuwa nataka beef. Na so ukaniambia ni have at rice na greens. Mhm. He mimi nikasema hapana, nilikuwa nataka vegetable rice. Wewe ukaitisha ka juice glass mm. moja ilikuwa 100 ama 70 well, <laughs> so mimi he nikasumbua okay si leo kusumbua mbaya because i was a waitress so mm. i understood when mm. mtu anafaa kuambiwa nikamwambia mimi not unless i have beef mm. na rice mm. he hapo ndipo ulijua ukaniambia he yeah, by the way yeah ati niletewe ka soup ka sauce <laughs> na rice <laughs> Now, mstia hapa hataki kujiangusha. Eh. Nikaenda tu nikasema ni sawa. Okay. Hiyo soup unaitia unaitia nyama na kijana ana pesa. Unaitia soup. Soup soup ilikuwa sauce. Lakini soup ilikuwa ya nyama. Nikaletoa sauce na rice na kula. So, kuna twist dances twingi tulikuwa tume happen happen. So and saa hii day yenye mafuta iliisha hiyo sasa ndio nilianza kuconnect. Hai nikatoka ingia kwa gari sasa ndio nikamuuliza babe is there anything you are going through do you have money kwa nini kitu ina happen hivi Hapo ndio ni Sasa hapo nipo kafunguka roho Eh Nikafunguka roho sana nikasema sina pesa sio So to road the money Nikakupea idea kurudisha gari Eh Yeah eh You came up with the idea to mm. dish a gari. Ndio yeah. sababu hiyo gari by the way we used to pay 1000 every day. Every day. And now us here hata hiyo 1000 hata tupati. Au pati. Hata ya mafuta au pati. Yeah. So mm. nikamwambia tu just return this car. Mm. Tutaenda mgu, mm. tuta buy our own car when mm. God gives Amen. us. And that, that day is coming. That money. Mm. So I remember hata tuirudisha hiyo gari na wewe. Mm. Tuka ukaenda kuongea na mwenyewe mm. then you came mm. tukaipeleka na tukarudi mguu tuki have fun mm. tukasikia ni kama kuna burden tuko tunaenda kwa sababu burden ni Aisha nimetoka mm. and mm. we came having fun mm. and that is how now we faced the bull by its horns kila <laughs> <laughs> turudi mali kwa eh, so turudi pale now me we were in the office about ilikuwa after kila kitu ndio happen after me yeah So now tulikuwa kwa story ya food. Mm-hmm. Ndio. Tulikuwa unapeleka kwa ofisi. Bendi kwa napeleka food kwa ofisi then naenda na pata watu najua. Mm-hmm. Then na na nini napotea. Mm-hmm. Hapo siku nataka hiyo image yangu ikue watu wanichukue na image a different image than what they used to know me. Mm-hmm. And then kumbuka hiyo time nilikuwa Asha in charge. Okay. Of course nilikuwa nilikuwa like a face. Mm-hmm. Watu walikuwa wananiona sana. Mtu akiingia chacha ananiona ukitoka chacha unaniona. Mm-hmm. So what what one do in terms of cooking food mm. so that was a very trying moment for me and for you too as is for <coughs> on my side si kwa najulikana sana nyewe because the kuna time ilifika nikaanza kwenda church odaya and where sasa kwenye nilitoka ndio nikuje tena kwa kwa kwendo nikahama sasa official ndio sasa niingie huko yeah, yeah. so i used to go to nyeri to odaya mm. and then job siko anafanya nyeri so mm. i didn't have a lot of people in nyeri who knew me it was not easy for me kufanya hiyo kazi but mm. it was better on my side mm. than on your side yes. but my problem was my main 
issue ilikuwa kuambia ta home eti nina hope for town no god mm. ara in fact you have been to those who watch video <coughs> si kosa kumwambia na ubaya by the way kama kuna <coughs> idea kijana mimi <laughs> niliona sasa hapa yeah. ningesema mamangu okay angekuwa tuna stress you have to be for that relationship for 8 months yeah without anybody knowing that, that yeah. we are going through anything kwa tu home wako unajua what we are going through yeah when we home wako unajua what we are going through and then it came to fika place now we wanted to now take our relationship now to the next level ile niende kwenu mm-hmm. and then now we start preparing for the wedding before then mm-hmm. can i say something yes i think we na skia tu kusema sana mm-hmm. uh-huh. there is a day okay see it yatuko tunakosana kwa hiyo time za nini za kuleta food na nini na nini lakini ile kukasirika yeah. but now because we need each other like mm. we were adding value to each other yeah, exactly. so i wouldn't have done without you na wewe how would hey, you move without you on that note mm. you remember the time you told me you want to go i want i wanted to come here yeah. the reason why i said i don't want i wanted to go home ni ni venye nilikuwa naamka mapema saa 8 za usiku unalala saa 4 nika ninalala saa 4 nikiosha na viongo unakumbuka ama sometimes ni Ninabeba hizo madishes naenda mm. naosha. Ama sometimes tumenunua vitu vya soko na eh, zikuwa prepared. Eh. So usiku unaanza mm. kama ni kupil maviazi kama ni nini. Okay. So was stuff. all alone doing all that. Mm. Ninafanya hivyo kazi zote naosha madishes na fire na tengeneza na prepare hizo food za the following day. Mm. Then namka asubuhi napika chapo. Yaani it was so Ilikuwa ilikuwa ni kama hotel you have a hotel in the home. Mm in the in your house mm-hmm. lakini hauna watu wa kusaidia lakini so, ilifika mahali kwa jua kupika chapu eh, so eh. ilifika mahali now he was doing the chapatis mm-hmm. he was doing the chapatis anatengeneza unga mm-hmm. unaikimiza home na ndudhi mm-hmm. motorbike mm-hmm. so nina kazi yangu tu ni kupika mm-hmm. unaletea safari kwa <laughs> kwa tumepata order kubwa mahali so, mm-hmm. unakuja sasa so, shida ilikuwa hiyo Motorbike, motorbike, motorbike everywhere. Mm. So this one day mm. mimi nimekuja nimekuja asubuhi na vitu zangu nimebeba nimebeba. Mm. Ulikuwa ufungue trolley. Yes I was supposed to. Ilikuwa au ulikuwa nakuja na food. Na mimi na, nakuja mapema na fungua trolley and then I set it up. Mm-hmm. Kama ni jiko na washa. Mm. Kama ni kuosha ruzo tu vitu vitu hapo hiyo naosha. Yeah. Kama ni kuendea maziwa ya ku, kupika chai ya mchana mm. naendea. Mm. So wewe ulikuwa tu unakuja na chakula unaweka. Mm. Na tunaanza masaa ya lunch ikifika we start distributing. Yeah. So hiyo time ukakuta sijafungua trolley. Ulikuwa kunyonyesha. Yeah. Then I was not able to cook in the house mm. in the Yeah. And eh hey, ni kuna time nilikuwa nachoka kabisa. Mm. So that one day nikasema acha nikuje na food na hizo vitu zote zikuwa ready mm. nikuje nipikie job. Mm. So nipikie kwa job. Mm. Sasa mimi kufika mm. trolley yes umevuta. Mm. Lakini imeinama haijafanywa kitu kuna nyesha. Mm. We? You I remember you you were so emotional that morning. Okay. Had you can be that is the first time you told me you want to go. Mm. And that's the last, last time you you have ever told. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa the only time ushajiambia unataka kwenda kwenu. Eh. So she told me that she wants to leave because Eh I think tulikuwa tume tumefinywa na life kabisa. Yaani we were at the corner. Yaani ile vaji ya ku break. Ana sinyo ile tasaro nilikuwa wewe ulikuwa mwana na tasaro mwapi. That is how I introduced my hair kwa gel. Nakumbuka nikasunua gel. Okay. Let us understand. Gel inakuwa very good. Hair hack. When you don't have money. When you don't have money inakuwa tin natural. And that is how nilijua kuna kwa na kitu inaitwa jail. Mm. Yeah. So, what you told me that mm. I think nilisikia ni kama my world was coming to an end. Mm. You know why? Mm. Eh, ni kama hakuna mm. kitu kingine nilikuwa najua at that moment naweza fanya. Because eh, there's something in a, in a, I think inakuwa in overrated. Mm. This thing of friends. Hakuna best alikuwa ina position kunisaidia in terms of kupata job ama kunipea solution. So I was just as we were two of us mm-hmm. trying to figure out life. Yeah. Kujaribu ku fix our issues. So nilisikia ni kama I broke down by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay, I remember that 
the reason why I said I won't go ni venye ujudia Okay, siya tinagianga Bada nili, matuwazi moja ilifika hapa, nika panguza Sama tu kweli Habana ni matuwazi moja ilifika hapa Alithia Because I knew, nilijua, nilijua There was no other way of surviving in town Ungeenda Okay, I get the end of you, but that is so hard. I get the end of you, but you are so hard for me. Now, one thing I have never believed, na I just think I believe, ni kurudi home. Kurudi home kwa kwa nini kishagi? That thing never came in my mind. So the only way I was ni kula survive ni wewe. Because by the way, we we used to eat that food. Eh? That was our bread. Kama kuna credit, we take from that nimi business that money mm. any yani anything you want that mm. time I think mm. we survived without buying new clothes yeah I don't know what you had you survived with what you had sometimes that had had to crash I was on your side oh, wait. <laughs> I think mm. our story is very long okay. you got period on 8 months it was like kama kama 10 years ah trudi kwa food i think we are so uh, in the your process ya kuza food na nini we had a lot of challenges which i think together cuz mention hapa hivi maybe we'll take another episode much tanza kuwa emotion tanza kuwa eh so in the process of kuza food now i want to give the the the, the best part of what we did mm-hmm. the best part of now taking action kusema this is what we want to do to save ourselves e mambo ya kosa job Tuliuza food, tukauza kwa ofisi, tukatipata tume, pata job ya ketari. Eee, hey, ya. Yeah. The first time we got a job ya ketari. Hey, yes. And that is, I think that is the first time tulishika pesa. Yani, now money in our money. hands, like, hainunu is talk. Eee. Hey. Sasa ni pesa. Eee. Hey. The first job, <laughs> by the way, the first, na tulisikia vizuri. <laughs> And with thank God because of that lady. There are there are few people. Yeah. There are good people. Can you make, basically. Mention her. Like you know yourself. Yes, that lady. May God bless you so much because mm. of what you did. Mm. You really stood with us. Mm. Hey, your time. Mm. Uh, to depart your job, your catering. Mm. From, from a very good friend of ours, mm. turn out. What are you a catering mm. when you need to pay a job mm. when you need to introduce to that yeah. job? Mm. Even you, God bless you so much. We, mm. You have a place in our hearts mm. and we've never forgotten mm. and it will never be forgotten. And, you, and you came in the right time. Yeah, you needed, right time. needed that job yeah. to go like that finances in a very big way. Mm. And uh, I remember your time we were now towards the end of the eight months period. Yeah. Because uh, after doing the catering, I think for two times, I think two or three times, mm. Corona came. And imagine mm. all that time when you took out on a struggle, mm. nobody knew that we are going through, I think, Mashida. Yeah. Okay, I don't know whether they were assuming, but I think to Likwa Naglori Ngine God to Likwa Metupea and a grace for that season. Mm. And because at a Mutuata to Likwa Nenda Church, I'm on a skate to work with them at how are the business, training, mm. yani, mm. they really appreciated us for what we are doing. Yes. <coughs> Lakini for us, what you are going through, who can you to my It was tough. Yeah. But uh, uh, it was very tough for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, thankfully, mm-hmm. towards the end of the eight months, we got a job. So I took up a catering. Took up a catering. I was able to get a But to be able to save ten k, ko yo, ko yo nini? Ko yo nini? Yo ka. Na sasa i 10k kuna mahali tukua tumekopeshwa 10k unakumbuka ya za kununua items yes so hatukua tulipewa job but hatukua na na pesa kununua stock yenye mtu kwanza una you buy you cook then you are paid after umepia na invoice so sisi tumepata profit ya 10k i think ati ilikuwa tu that 10,000 kuanda kutuwa pesa Ndiyo yosimu yangu tukapoteza. Mm. The same day we were paid, tukapoteza simu. Uu. Tu. <laughs> Uu. Kapoteza. Tu. Tukapoteza simu. <laughs> simu Iko yangu. Iko kwa nikono yangu. Ah! <laughs> so, eh, eh. how did I react by the way? How could you react to your simu? Uh-huh. I think you could do the kuhitu simu. 
because the following morning side to go to be agree ukuje tupata na safari kwa sio then nikasi mama hapo sikuoni nilipata nilipata bado i think your time to go na liaria sana sasa hiyo time you see the I moment na liaria sana sikatai nilikuwa na lia lakini ni venye nilikuwa naona tuko na tuko na hardship mingi so it was very easy. it was very easy for me to cry yani <laughs> nilikuwa too dedicated nilikuwa too na lia anyhow za mimi siku hiyo siku baada ni hiyo siku nilichelewa kukuja then nikakupata ume, ume, umetoka safari kwa mtu umeleshieni Chieni ukanipigia na sehemu ya mtu mwingine yeah, yeah. nikakuja chieni then i came back ah uh, what you no. did uh. nikakupigia simu na simu ya mtu huko yeah. nikakungoja tena haukutano haukutano yeah. yeah. nika nikarudi safari kwa yeah. so nikiwa kwa safari kwa msimama mm. ona ukipita mm. sasa siezi sema mm. siezi shout mm. so nikakuja nikifuata nikilia ah nilikuwa nakufuata nikilia <laughs> Sio kumbe na wewe ile pesa I think mwenye yeah. mwenye tulikuwa tupe hiyo pesa hiyo 10k mm. mwenye alikuwa ametukopesha mm. alikuwa amekupea Ah siko nime okay nilikuwa nimemrudishia uh-huh. remember you after, <laughs> after being paid mm-hmm. and then we had a meeting with them ilikuwa ilikuwa brother my brother and the wife we, we found them wakula kanyama mahali So that's thank you thank you guys because I think hiyo time pia nyingi mlikuwa umetumwa mm-hmm. So when to rudishia hiyo pesa mm-hmm. Then we lost the phone the same, the same time, time the same same day na makasikia tukisema tumepoteza simu the following morning when they would receive a pesa the same 10000 the same 10000 unibaiye phone ni unibaiye tapie phone thank you guys mm tunawapenda so mm-hmm. hii siku wakati uko hapo safari com i knew you can't even receive a pesa so i knew i was coming to buy a phone mm-hmm. but wewe ulikuwa unajua tunakuja kubai kabambe ile adhau I mean, I didn't know you have money. I didn't know. You didn't tell me you have money. Oh, by the way, this you know, tuko tuna communicate. Yeah. So me, for me, I didn't know whether you have money. Oh, tuko tupatane because there was no other way of meeting. Yeah, so I knew me to survive for mm. some time without a phone. A phone. Mm. And that is why I was feeling mm. okay, staki kumpia stress, tunajua mm. hakuna pesa. I know him. Mm. I know tuna struggle pamoja. Mm. So ilikuwa tena niuma. Mm-hmm. So where will I get money? Mm-hmm. That's why you got dead kid. Ta na mko na lia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So wako kuja ukaniambia nataka tuende pale tukanunue phone. Sasa ukwambia then ni tukanunue phone, ukwambia tu tuende tuone. Tuone. Mm-hmm. Then we went there, mm-hmm. then nikaza ukaona ni kibagain simu ya I think ya 8 8k excuse me. Ilikuwa 8 I think 7k. 8 or 7k. <laughs> This girl here This is a very special person. I will never stop saying that. Mm. Because we niambia to always that we need to use money na hatuna pesa. Oh, ah, uh, uh, siku sema hivyo. Mm. Sasa ulikuwa umefika place mm. una bargain kabisa and mm. those guys they knew you were buying that for. Mm. So nilikwambia, "Ai babe, mimi acha tu tuende tutoe pesa zingine we come for for a bigger phone tuongeze kama ni." Lakini idea ni, what I wanted to say ni ati ulikata nunue simu ya 7k na hata nilikwambia tumepatiwa pesa tununue simu kwanza. You told me don't buy phone because we need money to survive. Yeah. So ukaniambia let's go for a smaller phone mm. ya communication. And that is your time to come to Kabambe and Nick. Okay. It was 2k yes. Yeah, it was 2000. We bought a phone of 2k and then we had 8000 in our pocket. Mm-hmm. Now kuanzia again. Ikatupia sasa tena pesa ya stock hiyo time. Nika survive na Kabambe. Mm. Then ndio sasa tukapata order nyingine kubwa. Mm. Nakumbuka then we got Yes, we got another big order mm. bado ya catering. Mm. Then tukaijapa mm. and then tukaweza kurudisha ile pesa tena. Tukarudisha that 10,000 sasa. Yes. <coughs> so, kwa hizo zote then kutoka hapo ndio corona ilianza ili hit. Now the second deal. Yeah. It was the second ama ilikuwa that. That one ilikuwa the big. Because we, we did the second, we did the first and second. Yeah. Again the third one tukakansoliwa sasa hiyo hiyo ilikuwa the biggest mm. hey guys wacha tuambie so hiyo time ya catering ndio tu ulipata after tumemaliza hiyo catering mm. tulikaa for a long time without mm. getting another mm. tu zilikuwa za za walimu za meeting za meeting hivyo so in that duration mm. tulikuwa tunapeleka food tulianza tu kuendelea na food zetu mm. and then one day <coughs> ah 
tukapelekea mwenye sasa alikupatia job mm. tulikuwa tunampelekea food mm. tu, and then uka i think sije venye mliongea nilimlikuwa nikamwambia yeye ni ni nikamwambia i'm going through a financial crisis yeah, and said that eh hey, na nilikuwa nataka kwenda kwenu mm. then nikamwambia nipe job and then he was gracious enough akanipatia job yeah. so at least hapo hivyo the burden zikaanza kupungua pungua kidogo because i was earning mm-hmm. yeah na hey, at least unajaribu kusukumana food yeah. so i think uh, should we get there then we give them another episode because still ah ah but the video we have a very long story like what happened tulipata hiyo job ilikuwa job ya online bando zilikuwa shida kununua you get so hiyo 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 job and then i think that is where our new story starts sasa hey. that is how sasa how we went home eh hey. so kutoka hapo hivyo now we we can't mention like everything we went through how we had five shillings how at some point we had five shillings <laughs> we had the option of either eating the money or doing what it was 5 shillings hata hiyo baada si ukula tunataka bundles mm-hmm. so na tunataka tulikuwa tunataka kutoka kwenye nilikuwa mm-hmm. kuje town mm-hmm. juu nini mm-hmm. and we had 5 shillings tulikuwa place ya 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 i think 50 bob mm-hmm. ndio tukakuja kwa tukakuja kwa mashot cards zingine hata kwa dv na nini acha tu tusope hiyo acha tu finish tu hapo so guys if you want another I mean eh, a story from there na the reason why we are giving these stories not just because we want to nini piti ama nini yeah. we are trying to help someone eh, ama to encourage someone mm-hmm. don't give up okay yeah. so what kind of situation in a kuga moment yeah, you just hang there just hang on mm-hmm. hang on your faith hang on to god pray to god and make sure that you are working where you can mm-hmm. don't just sleep in the house because we got a job when we were working and lower your ego and lower your ego there's there's no job that is ati kuna white color jobs doing ama yellow ama whatever whatever you get mm. whatever you find to do with your hands mm. just do it mm. with all your heart with mm. all your might mm. and that is where god atakuja kukubless you yes yeah <laughs> so thank you guys for yeah. your time yes yes we appreciate you even mm. for working with us to this far mm. Nini ni watu wa maana sana. Mm. We value you. Mm. We appreciate you mm. and our prayer is that God continue blessing you. Mm. Bless your households. Whatever you do may God bless it. Yes. And until next time. Before until next time, we do, we do bad the cakes. Again, yes. if you <laughs> forgot, we do bad the cakes. The weddings ni nini nini. Yeah. So if you have an order, kuna namba hapa hivi, you can check on it. Yeah. And God bless you until we meet in the next video. God bless you and bye bye. 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 Thank you.